a common question asked by uh, many students who are studying OBAM for the first time, how come we can have a circuit that its input current is basically equal to zero and its output current is not equal to zero? So if the input is zero, the output should be the zero. That is the logic uh, understanding of any basic systems. So why is that we assume that IN is equal to zero in an OBAM but actually its output current is not equal to zero. So now I will do a, a demonstration of an actual op-amp circuit and we will measure both I1 and I2. And if we apply KCL here, I1 is equal to IN plus I2. So if I1 and I2 are exactly the same, then that proves that IN basically is equal to zero. But if they are not equal, then this means that your IN is not equal to zero, and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Now, if you come here and look, we apply the voltage one volt, and this is basically your I, uh, I1. This is the current that enters terminal number two of your op -am, uh, circuit. It's equal to around 0.91 milliamp. Now, let's measure I2 and see its value. Now, uh, this is the value of my I2. Now, my I2 is equal to around 1 milliamp. So, there is a difference between I1 and I2 equal to around 0.1 milliamp. And that is the current that is going into the op-amp. So, practically, the op-amp does receive a small current. But when we analyze the op-amp, we assume ideal behavior of the op-amp and because this makes the analysis much easier and since the current is small relative to the actual currents in the circuit it can be ignored without affecting much the accuracy of my calculation